Good morning, David here, out on another beautiful Arizona morning. Uh, we're gonna fly this uh, modified flight test Explorer, FT Explorer, you might know it. Um, I made this back in 2001. It's been a lot of fun. I wanted a platform to fly with iNav, and um, it's been set up with uh, a DJI Vista camera and a Cadex um, Nebula Pro, as well as a pan and tilt that I designed with head tracker. So you can use it with or without head tracker, um, and I can use it both ways. Links are down below for the head tracker information. I followed the one that uh, was given to us by Painless360. I liked it quite a bit. It was easy to make, and it, I just put it on top of my goggles. I'll show that. Also, I've got the a basic flight controller running iNav. It's running an older version of iNav. I think it's in the version 4 somewhere. And uh, I'm going to upgrade it, but I wanted to fly it again before I upgrade it. Copy all the settings out so I can upgrade to the latest version that will be supported by this flight controller. Um, the other thing I did with this is I, I built it with uh, carbon fiber aero shafts as a twin boom. And the end of the arrow is mounted all the way through the foam and ends right here. And I made these little plastic plates and then added the screws to, to bolt in and hold those in place with a little bit of glue back here. Um, it only has elevator. There's no rudders. It doesn't need rudder. It's basic yank and bank. The flight controller does really well with it. Um, when landing, I just have to land in an area that will allow me to... Um, just go straight and I, I just know that I'm not going to be able to taxi and that's okay. Um, I added the wheels. I'll show those and uh, that's just a tube and and to, to give it something to, to ride on so I can take off and land with it no problem which is a lot of fun in FPV. The other thing that's kind of cool about it is with the, a longer wing you get low amp draw cruising speed um, it's fun to take this out in the desert and do some long range. Head tracker here is a lot of fun because it lets you put it into cruise mode and be able to look around and, and to see with very little disruption. You can just relax and just kind of be a, a passenger for a little bit. It's kind of fun. And I can turn it on and off the head tracking just in case you get disoriented. The build of the Flight Test Explorer typically calls for a boom that, that fits into this slot right back here and uh, I just didn't do that part. Uh, I'm, I redesigned a, a flat portion for the elevator here and just never put the rudder on but I have the tail fin here and as you can see the other part I did was on the outside of the where it zip ties and glues to the carbon I added a zip tie so that the the holding zip ties don't pull through the foam. It has some plastic to, to rest against. Other than that, I just mounted the, the motor mount is very similar and about the same angle. You can see a little bit of extra popsicle sticks and wood in there to hold that in there. This is a, a motor mount, a plastic motor mount that I use on my stingrays and I just embedded it in this back piece. Um, I get about, uh, I think it's about, a, I can get about a 14 minute flight, depending on how I fly it on a three cell 2200. And the motor, I think it's just an 1100 kV motor, something similar you'd put on a, a medium powered slow stick, something like that. And I am running an eight inch prop, I believe. And that's a slow fly prop. Battery tray goes here, flight controller goes under. I did configure the flight controller to run inverted uh, just because of its orientation. I want to be able to put the USB uh, in it while not having to, and be able to mount it in the orientation that I wanted. I did have to add a little bit of lead weight to the nose just to get it to balance correctly. And I think that's partly because of the weight that's added by using a little bit of the carbon fiber in the twin boom. Um, other than that, it's, uh, it's a puppy to fly. It's a lot of fun. Hope you guys can enjoy something like this as well. Um, just want to share my ideas that I'm using. I've been flying this one. I built this back in 2021, and I flew it a lot. 
uh, back then. We used to go out to the desert and uh, do some long range and it was really enjoyable. That was full throttle takeoff, just to make sure everything was smooth. It did track straight. And we're in, I'm manually panning right here, just so I can look into the turn, which is awesome. I do have stabilization on. 13. And we have a truck passing by, great. You can see other pilots now in the air. <laughs> nice one, Will. Okay. Put on, now I'm going to put it in um, cruise mode. Auto level. So this tank maintains my altitude. I'm at 200 feet exactly right now. 201, 200. And it sets the throttle internally, what I have uh, for the cruise mode. But it'll maintain altitude. And at this point, I can turn head tracking on. Head track on. Great. And I can look around and you can, you can see I'll look down to one side. I can see my tire. There's the wheels. 12 minutes. Let's gain a little bit more altitude. I'm going to put it back in the horizon mode. On. Start to climb a little bit because I'm getting a little bit of distance out here. Now with iNav, I get the home arrow, but I also get the return to home feature. If I lose signal, it will return to home. And if I flip the switch to return to home, it'll return to home automatically. I also have the loiter option, which is kind of cool. It'll maintain altitude and circle a, a given point. I'm going to put it in loiter right now. Loiter. And as it's loitering, it maintains a diameter around that point the best it can. And uh, you'll see it correct a little bit here on the back side as it goes on the readjust to that point or adjust for wind. But it's still in loiter right here. And it, as it gets around this point, it'll maintain altitude. And then it's going to turn again around that point that we marked when I turned it on. And that's kind of a cool feature if you want to circle a given area and just look around with a head tracker. Now I'm going to take it off a of loiter when we come back around and we'll put it back in a cruise. Drifting in the sky so free Colors blur on the canvas only we can see the shadow on the wing of the camera. Time is cool. Okay. Here I'm gonna flip it into return home now and you should see it turn left. Return to launch. There it is. So it will gradually descend its altitude to a given point that's been predefined. 
but it is headed directly home. And I see the home arrow is straight up and it is dead on my truck. Okay, I'm gonna take it off. When it gets to home, it loiters at the, the given altitude. And I think I told it to loiter at about 220 or 230. So it's just gonna loiter here until I take it out. I'm gonna take it out of that. We'll put it back into stabilization mode. This is a fun plane, especially if you want to take it out and do some range, take it out to the desert, fly it over some open areas. A lot of fun. Um, it's also fun just playing with the technology and exercising your mind in this area where you got all these components working together with the radio and, and running the head tracker as well as the uh, flight controller modes. Well, hope you enjoy it, and thanks for watching.